Hi everyone. We are now continuing our wonderful exploration of this fantastic painting, The World of Cyrus. Now, if you take a close look at the painting, you will notice something that's quite obvious. There are a lot of men, a lot, a lot of men, and very, very few women. Now, why do you think that is? Were there no women in the 30s and 40s and 50s? No, there were many women. But let's paint a little bit of a picture. The Amandis used to go to these villages and draw people. It wasn't an official pose, he would draw the people that he encountered. So, he used to go to the squares and the cafes, and that's generally where the male population of the village had spent their time. Women lived a more private life, doing a lot of the work around the home or in the fields. Also, a second thing would be that it might have been a bit strange at that time for a man who did not know a woman to approach her and speak to her and ask her to be able to draw her. So those are probably a lot of the reasons why we don't really see many women in the painting. If you look a bit closer though, you will notice some important women figures in the painting. First, we notice, looking right at the centre of the painting, these two imposing figures that represent a lot of the important values of society. So, family, and power, and religion. Now, right behind them, if you look closely, you see two women who are holding children. Now, the reason we believe the artist placed the women right there at the centre was to emphasise the importance of the woman in the society, and especially the importance of the woman as the role of a mother. Now, we've also noticed a couple of other women. If we look to one side of the painting, we'll see a young girl holding what looks to be her younger brother. These are two of the Turkish Cypriot um, figures in our painting, which is important to note because it's called the world of Cyprus, and of course Cyprus is made up of Cypriots. That includes Greek Cypriots, and that includes Turkish Cypriots. Now, Yamandis also included another figure that was very important, another womanly figure that was very important. The young girl in the white dress from Mirto. She's located at the left-hand side of the painting when you're facing at it. Now, this girl most likely was in a way of a symbol, a symbol for change, a symbol for peace, and a symbol for all the good that the future would come. 